will not matter. Everton 8, Chelsea 2 in a Carabao Cup final that will go down in history as one of the most one-sided affairs to possibly grace the competition. Chelsea, you have an apology to say to your fans, but for Everton, first of four is complete. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Career Mode episode. How are we all doing today? Hopefully fantastic. I bring you this episode today as we'll be taking on Manchester City twice with Liverpool in there as well and kickstarting things off with a post-com game against Bayer Leverkusen and having already beaten them 5-1 in our first leg. So yeah, nothing to worry about for me in the Champions League. We're going to show you those goals that happened when we took them on at Goodison Park. I decided not to play this live because like I mentioned, we pretty much already got the job done in that first leg. I mean, I could have probably simmed this, but I wanted to use this as like a warm-up for uh, for the games that we had later on to come. So, yeah, I, I use this for that, basically. But as I record this video on Thursday, hopefully you get it on Thursday night. We are now about a week away. Well, exactly a week away. Seven days, in fact, from FIFA 20 dropping through early access. And to say I'm excited would be an understatement. Here's to, hopefully, another fantastic year of FIFA. And hopefully... One that you guys enjoy the content I will bring you. But the action in this one then started with Mason Mount scoring. We had two slightly fortunate goals in the game as we won it 3-1. Uh, Vinicius Jr. scoring here, but it took a massive deflection on the way through before finding the back of the net. And then we had another one that was like this as well. Mbappe shot was uh, deflected as well. And uh, it was just, it was poor, honestly, from, uh, from Leverkusen. You can see it here as Mbappe runs through. The shot comes in. It deflected off, I think, Elvedi in the end. Um... Goes over his goalkeeper, and it was 3 Everton, 8-1 on aggregate. They got a goal back with about six or so minutes to play, but it was way too late. We knew that. Obviously, coming into game, the job was already done, but they got a goal in both the games. At least they can say that, Leverkusen. But, yeah, fairly simple, and now we are through to the next round of the Champions League, and our hunt for the quadruple will continue then as we now head into game against Manchester City in the Cup. The uh, quarterfinals of the FA Cup coming your way right now as a live con. And after that, we got Liverpool and then Manchester City again. So enjoy the rest of the episode, guys. I hand you over in the capable hands of myself. And before we get into the Manchester City game in the FA Cup quarterfinal, the draw for the Champions League has been made. So who are we going to face off actually in the quarterfinal of the Champions League as well? Um, I'm pretty sure I've already seen it, but um, you guys won't have. So let's take a look at that quickly. And here is that draw then. It's going to be Manchester United, so an all-English affair. And actually, another all-English affair as well. Chelsea versus Manchester City. So, interesting uh, draw here. Porto taking on Monaco. That game could go either way. And Real Madrid against PSG as well. Another game that could go either way. So, some really, really interesting ties there for the quarterfinals. I believe as well, the Krafschap have made it through to the quarterfinals of the Europa League, where they will face Lazio. So, I really, really am hoping that to end off this series... We not only win the Champions League, but they go on to win the uh, the Europa League as well. And you might notice as well, on top of that, that, um, where are they? Villarreal, they uh, they didn't even get through the round of 32. Um, or they did. They played in the round of 16 and must have lost in there. Wait, am I missing something? Yeah, there. Uh, no, wait, they got through that as well. Yeah, they're in the quarterfinals. Take no notice of me. I'm just talking absolute nonsense. So two of our former clubs, both in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. How funny would it be... To watch them both get to the final and face each other. That would be quite some story, wouldn't it? Nevertheless, it's time for Manchester City in the FA Cup quarterfinal. Let's get into game. And here we are then. The Manchester City 11 as we take them on at the Etihad FA Cup quarterfinal football. Now you can see as well, there's been no punches spared with either team selection. The Manchester City side is a very strong one. The only one you could argue is, of course, Asensio. Um, but I'm not even sure I saw him on the bench there. But nevertheless, for us, this is our 11 then. Lunin starts in goal. Cancelo, Sanchez, De Ligt and Tierney is a back four. Alexander Arnold, Vinicius Jr. and Patrick in the midfield three with uh, Bay, Catrone and Coman as a front three as well. So, yeah, like I said, both teams respecting each other and naming a lot of quality. And this should be a high-end game. Now, I said that about last game's, uh, sorry, last episode's big game, which, of course, was the Carabao Cup final. If you've not seen it, probably worth checking out because... 
let's just say it was a bit of a thrashing in, uh, in that game. So I said the same about that game, about the quality that we'd see. Hopefully this time, Manchester City will put up a bit of a fight. Vinicius Jr. going to be on the ball, but he can't find the pass. There's positive start early on here from City, but we will win back possession. And one of the things we do pretty well is counter-attack at pace as Vinicius Jr.'s in. He's not going to miss from there. Eight minutes in, we have the breakthrough. And it's come from a mistake from Manchester City. As soon as we win back the ball, usually it takes us two or three passes before we craft in a chance. This time it took one. And that was the pass through from Vinicius, or two Vinicius Jr. should say. But again, it's come from Manchester City, uh, City mistake. Kingsley Coleman winning possession. And then he plays the pass through to Vinicius Jr., who'd actually um, decided to drift in field. I don't know what it was, the reason for that. Usually like to play out wide, but he decided to drift in field. We won back possession. City caught napping, and they uh, they were made to pay for it. Lovely ball from Vinicius Jr. towards Kingsley Coman. And look at the run being made here by Patrick Catrone. This is from a Manchester City corner. Catrone sending one in. Vinicius Jr. Oh, it's a mistake made by Edison. And it's a costly one at that as well. He should have had that. I'm going to be honest. I tried hitting it first time. And it's come from a Manchester City corner. Said about the counter-attacking at speed that we do. And he's got his second of the game. But I'm going to be honest. I don't know how he's got it. I wanted it first time. But he took a touch. The fantastic little ball over the top from Catrone. Here, that was where the first time shot was supposed to come in. It didn't. And maybe that's what fooled Edison. Because maybe he didn't expect him to take the touch. Because I certainly didn't. And it's Vinicius Junior who's got us our second goal of this game. Here goes Sane then for Manchester City. They need a reply to come from somewhere. Jesus sent through back towards Leroy Sane. Davison Sanchez goes over to stop the... What looked like it was going to be a cross. No, that's not where I meant to put the ball. And this could be dangerous. Another mistake in the game. But this time... It's worked out for us. Man City have made two thus far. And it's cost them both a goal this time. It's our mistake. And Bernardo Silva really should have scored. Luna makes the save. But he's got to finish that. Manchester City with the best chance of the game there for them. In this opening half. And they could not take it. As we get this second half back off and running. TAA and uh, Leon Bay combined. Back to TAA. I mean look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Look how fluid our counter attack is here. As a nice move. Gets us in behind. Coleman's effort off the post. Oh, it could have been three. You're seeing the fluidity of our moves when we get into these attacking areas. Sometimes it's just too hot to handle for our opponents. I thought there might have been a little touch from Edison, but there's not. And Coleman strikes the post. Lovely. And now Patrick. There's a run coming in from Tierney if he can find him. And he can. Tierney's in behind here for number three. Kieran Tierney does not miss those type of efforts. And our number three makes it three. I think that's it then. Manchester City not had enough so far to really stop us in the attacking area. And they certainly haven't had enough going forward to really worry us. Their only chance coming from one of our own mistakes. I did say it last episode. I don't think there's many sides out there in the world of football that can stop this Everton team. And I stand by that again today as Manchester City look like they're going to fall to us. The licked. Towards Patrick. Now Leon Bay. Look at the space here for Mason Mount. And he's in the box. And it's not going to be saved by Edison. It's too simple from Manchester City's perspective. Defensively not good enough there. And to be fair, I can kind of understand why. You know, they're running out of the time. They have to start to try and get back in the game by committing a few more bodies forward. But actually, this has come courtesy after we've just had a corner which was cleared away. So, yeah, it's not been a very, very good performance from them. But from us, clinical is the word I'll use. Because yet again, when we've had our opportunities, we've largely taken them today. Phil Foden inside the box for Manchester City. Great turn. Finding Sterling. Sterling hits the woodwork. Coming back for Leroy Sane. Surely not going to miss. And he doesn't. And there is a goal in the game for City. It's come, though, far too late. Three minutes to play. Sane will get a consolation goal. And you can see by the celebrations from City, they know... That pretty much, there's no way back really in the game. Sterling's effort off the post. Luna not quite quick enough to get back up. And Sane smashes in the rebound. Outside of that, it's been a good performance from us. I really would have liked the clean sheet, but we can't have it all our way. And City will find that goal. I mean, that's a poor challenge from De Bruyne. And I'm surprised actually that he's got away with that. Look how short the advantage was by the referee. That's surely going to be a yellow card when he stops play. Not really bothered about that though because time then is going to be up here and we will move through to a semi-final of the FA Cup. 
Looking, of course, on course for another cup competition win. Not even sure who we're going to get in that semi-final. I showed you the teams who are still left in it last episode. As long as we avoid Liverpool, it's looking like a Merseyside derby final. And speaking of Liverpool, that will be the game that's going to come up next for us in the Premier League. And you can see the table there. We're 11 points clear with a game in hand over Manchester United. So, uh, yeah, at the moment, I'm feeling pretty good about things. But I just quickly want to check and see who it is going to be in the FA Cup semi-final. Because, of course, Liverpool were playing against Chelsea. So, uh, who got the better of who in that game? As we see, that's the Europa League. That's not what I needed. It's up there, the FA Cup. I've gone past it. What an absolute idiot. There it is. Right. Who's it going to be? Semi-final draw. And it's going to be... Well then, we look like we're on course for a Merseyside derby final. Liverpool take on Watford and we will face Newcastle. As you can see, they better Chelsea 2-1. Newcastle beating Fulham 3-2. And Watford winning on penalties against Portsmouth in that one. So, as long as we can beat Newcastle and they can beat Watford, we're heading towards a Merseyside final, which is going to be a very interesting game indeed. Of course, we already played the UEFA Super Cup as a Merseyside derby. And we're going to get another one, hopefully, in the FA Cup this time. How on earth do you stop that man there on your screen, Mbappe? Only one of many threats in this Everton side. We have an unbelievable squad that Liverpool are going to have to try and keep quiet here from Anfield if they want a result in this Merseyside derby. You can see there, 11, though, as it comes up on the screen, Christensen and Van Dijk tasked with that job of stopping Mbappe tonight. Fabinho Benton in the whole midfield role with Salah Woodburn and Oyazabal as the midfield three. Akadi just in front of them as well. On the bench, a couple of other big names. They've got Mane, Griezmann in there, and Mobley as well. But he isn't the only player, as I said, in this Everton side who can pose a threat to Liverpool. Simon starts in goal. That's a mistake. I should have put Lunin back in. My bad. But Dybala starts in midfield alongside Lo Celso, Orsic as well. Coleman Jr. And, of course, Mbappe up front. I mean, 94 rated Dybala starts and 95 rated Mbappe starts as well. It's crazy. It's t &E. Playing the ball through for Mbappe and who on Liverpool will be stood up and counted to try and stop him tonight. Coleman on the turn. Kingsley Coleman through for Dybala. Dybala. I mean, oh, what a save. What a save from Alisson. I honestly thought that was going to be in the back of the net. I was going to say, I mean, don't worry about Mbappe because Dybala is just as good. And unbelievably, it stays out. What a save from Alisson. Genuinely thought that was 1-0. Corner ball in then from Dybala. Going to swing it in towards that near post. Delete gets up. And there is the first goal of the game then. Van Dijk against Matthias Delict, And he comes out on top. Both number fours jumping for the ball. And only one of them won it. Everton won. Liverpool nil. Alisson might have just made an unbelievable save to keep his side nil-nil. But there's no stopping this. What a header. And surprisingly as well, although it was on target, it's actually gone down as a Robertson on goal. So, the Ligt will not get the credit for that header. I'm not sure why, because like I said, I think it was on target unless he didn't actually touch it. Um, it might have come off a Liverpool player before hitting Robertson. But they need to be careful, Liverpool, because this could just about get even worse here if it goes to 2-0. Kingsley Coman again, Alisson, with a big stop. Immediately, this is where it, it, it really does turn for Everton. Because when we get our first goal, usually we're just ruthless. 1-0 becomes 2, then even 3-0. Alisson again with a big save to the Niers. And I think if that was 2-0, we are cruising to a victory. As again, De Ligt is there. Alisson again makes the save. Sanchez on the rebound, going to put it over. That's three saves now from the Brazilian of top quality. De Ligt again winning it, proving to be a nuisance for Liverpool in that box. And Alisson again is there. And there is the half-time whistle here from Anfield then. Only the goal that we got from De Ligt to show for it. But Liverpool have been well and truly on the ropes there in that first half. Could have been so much more, but for Alisson making some fantastic saves. I mean, I think they'll be happy at 1-0 because they still have a way back into the game. But they do have to be careful, Liverpool, because this could get out of reach in the second half. And Alisson really needs his team to step up because he's doing his bit. And I mean, if you look at the subs that we can bring on, we have such a strong bench to even call upon as well. So, yeah, Liverpool, they were on the ropes in the first half. They need to improve. Otherwise, this is looking like it's going to be another Everton win. Fabinho into a really good area. Goes past his man. Got to be a save. And it's a big save as well. The first time he's been called upon 
And like I said, I made a mistake actually keeping him in the side, Simon. But it's a good save. Lunan should have been the player that was starting. But I'm glad he's been able to pull off that save as Sadio Mane comes on the field of play. It was great footwork from Fabinho to even craft the chance in the first place. And a sign of life then from Liverpool if they've lacked it in the entirety of this game thus far. Mane off the bench. First touch for him as he feeds Robertson back. Robertson turning away. Liverpool in some good possession. Fantastic through ball. Mane's in. Offside flag goes off. And it just about spares us. Because I think that might have been a very good opportunity for Liverpool to find an equaliser. I'm going to make a change here. We are going to bring on Leon Bay for Coman. And while we're at it, actually, I'm going to swap Bay out to the... No, let's swap Bay out to the right. Put Mbappe on to the left. And bring on Catron up front for Vinicius Jr. So two changes. We go in search for our second goal that will see this game out. But Liverpool are showing us that they do have the capability to craft a chance or two. A fantastic save from our goalkeeper. Keeps the score at 1-0. 12 minutes to play here as we have the ball on the edge of Liverpool's penalty area, Lo Celso. Now we'll find it out wide towards Mbappe. Tierney gives him the run. He's going to find him as well. Tierney lifts it in towards the near post. Catron's there. Off the post. And a second just will not fall for Everton. Can't believe he's at the woodwork there. Nine minutes left here. Do not let Liverpool back into this game now after wasting a chance like that. Benton Kerr finding Woodburn. They've got an overlap here on this uh, right-hand side for Liverpool. On our left, of course. Woodburn now plays it through. Ojo finds him back. There's Bustos. He's ball in. Cancelo can't really clear it. It's all over the place. Mane shot blocks in the box by, I believe, Paulo Dybala. Corner ball. Five minutes to play. We've just wasted an opportunity to go to him from. Are we now going to concede? Fabinho's header straight into the hands of our goalkeeper. Let's just calm it down. As long as we keep Liverpool in this sort of area, I really don't mind. We're into added time here. In the game, 45-ish seconds to go. Akadi back to Fabinho. What a ball through to Mane. Mane now in towards the box. Cancelo needs to stand firm and he does. What a tackle in the end. But it's not a great clearance. But there comes the full-time whistle. It's a very slender win indeed. Delix header in the end. And off for the three points. And a Merseyside victory at Anfield for Everton. A lot of credit to Liverpool though for their second half display. Because I honestly thought after the first half when they were on the ropes... This was going to get a bit embarrassing for them. But no, they stood firm. And in the end, they could have had their way back into the game. But for a good save from our goalkeeper. Of course, Catron's chance late on to make it 2-0. Not enough to find the second one. But still, I called it Delict header. I've just realised it is an own goal from Robertson. Yeah, I mean, it should have been Delict. But anyway, 1-0. Now playing Bournemouth. And I'm going to be simming this. But we have an opportunity right here. To go 16 points clear at the top of the table with only 8 games remaining. So, 16 points clear we will be. Wait, am I right? Yeah, I think I am. 16 points clear with only 24 to play for after that. It's pretty ridiculous. Which actually means, guys, if I don't need to be playing all the Premier League games, I'm definitely not going to do that. Um, so, realistically, we're probably quite close to the end of the series. Because we've got Manchester United definitely next episode in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Um... And then I'm not sure. Obviously, Newcastle is well in there because that's the semi-final game. But I actually don't think I'll be playing that many more Premier League games now then because I don't really need to. I think we can win it if I sim it. Obviously, I'll play the one where we'll lift the trophy. And then outside of that, I don't think I'm going to be playing much more. So, yeah, I think I'm going to focus my time more into the Champions League and the FA Cup semi-final. So, we'll see. But let's see how we play against Bournemouth because, of course, I'm putting this into perspective Right now, we're 13 points clear, and we need to beat them in order to go 16 clear. If we don't beat them, then we won't be 16 clear. We will stay at that 13 stage, or maybe go to 14. Sim through. There you go. 2-2 two, two draw. So, in the end, we're only going to be 14 points clear. I'll take it back. So, 14 points clear. 24 points left to play for. Manchester City up next. Actually, uh, Man United have just dropped points, so that's not good for them. Chelsea, though, do have a game in hand and could move up to 59, so they're still in the race as well. But realistically, I think the title is pretty much already done. I haven't already mentioned it in the episode today. My plan is actually to try and get this series done with by the end of this weekend coming. So hopefully when you see this, it'll be the Thursday. And uh, yeah, we'll have the uh, series wrapped up by the end of this weekend. Because we are now a week away from FIFA 20. Which is ridiculous to be saying. But that's how close it is. Let's jump into this one though for our final game of today. And hopefully end off with a win as well. Manchester City will be looking for revenge after their earlier defeat against us in the episode. We're looking for the double 
against them. I potentially could have simmed this game and maybe got something out of it as Raheem Sterling trying to, uh, to get past us there. Can't do it. I probably could have simmed this and maybe still got a draw, but I just wanted to play it. Obviously, City are still a good side, even if they're not having the best of seasons, as we now might break down the left uh, right hand side, I should say, with Cancelo. And that's a nice ball through. And look at the run coming in from Mbappe. It's killing Mbappe, surely with the first chance of today. And he smashes it in. Oh, mistake there as well. And Catron is now in behind for number two. And Patrick Catron sinks Manchester City from Goodison Park. It's poor from them. I think it's Nanyon at the back. No idea what he's trying to do. He's, he's trying to be too intricate playing it out of defence. And he gets caught as Catron steals it off him and finds the finish for number two. And that probably will be the goal that does it. Everton, we are usually so good in these positions. When we get to 1-0, like I said, floodgates open. We, we just take the game and make it even worse. And that's what's happened here. Fantastic finish from Patrick Catrone. And we now lead by two. Uh, Mbappe, Catrone, Vinicius Junior, offside flag maybe. Not quite yet. Vinicius Junior across. Number three's there. And it's easily finished off by Patrick Catrone. Manchester City nil. Everton three. Catrone with his second of the game. And it's a really, really nicely worked goal, but defensively, poor is the word I'll use. It's come straight after some good defending from actually, cutting out that pass from Mbappe. But then, yeah, three passes later, we were in again. Into the last 10 minutes we go then. A City now trying to come forward, looking for what will only be a consolation at this point. Phil Foden's been good since he's come on. I'm surprised he hasn't started. I don't think he started anyway. I think he was a substitution. But, yeah, he's definitely been in the game this second half. He's... Trying to make things happen for City. Again, no, that pass will fall short. And there might be another counter-attacking move on again. And that's what I talk about. Four passes. Mbappe through on goal. Looking for number four. One-on-one -on -one with Edison. Mbappe. Oh, he's missed it. I was going to say he doesn't miss from here. And he's in the post. I don't, I, I, don't know, I don't know how he's missed it. I really don't know how he's missed it. It's a good job I didn't say that he doesn't miss from here. Because I'd have been left red-faced. As Lacelso, great turn, gets the shot away. It's going to bounce through and Edison should keep it in and does. Two minutes to play. It should have been 4-0 Mbappe. What's, what's up in there then, mate? Last minute now as Mirinchuk's found here by Sane. Mirinchuk looking to put a cross in maybe. And it will come in now from Grimaldo. Swings it in. Lunen's there though to punch it away. And that's going to do it from Goodison Park. Everton 3, Manchester City 0. Depending on results elsewhere, that could be it. Um, because with it being the way it is, I think we'll be like 16 or 17 points clear if results go our way. And I think we will also only have 18 points left to play for. So, yeah, pretty much next episode, the title will be decided if we keep the way we are. And then after that, it's the FA Cup and the Champions League to sort out. Two shots on target and we scored three goals in that game. I don't, I, I, I'm, uh, well, actually, yeah, Catrones was, was a post, wasn't it? Take that back, yeah. Patrick Catrones was, um, was off the woodwork, so that doesn't count as a shot on target. But nevertheless, what a result. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of today's episode. As you can see, the beginning of next one, we're going to be taking on Manchester United in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. What a game that is to get us thrown into as an episode. Massive thank you for watching this one, though. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be greatly appreciated. As always, a massive thank you for all of your support as well. This is our next month coming up in April. After that, there's only May left. Um, but depending on if the Premier League's done or not, we won't be playing Premier League games. So, like I mentioned, I am looking to have this series wrapped up by the end of this weekend. So, pretty much, next episode will be the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Probably one Premier League game in there as well to, I guess, secure the Premier League title. And the semi-finals of the FA Cup against Newcastle. And then it'll be depending on what happens in that episode, if we get through in the Champions League and the FA Cup, which I expect us to do that because our team is way too good. Um, then, of course, some finals to look forward to. If we don't, I've bottled it and uh, I can only apologise. But, of course, you'll see it all live in the next episode. So we'll see how that goes. Um, for the table, before we go then, we're going to check that out as well and see what did happen elsewhere so we know exactly what we're looking at in that next one. So here it is. So Manchester United currently sit 16 points behind us. But they only have 18 points to play for. And Chelsea also six, 16 points behind us. Same thing there. Um, but they have uh, 21 points to play for because they still have seven games to go. So pretty much it's all but done. One or two games next time out, we'll do it. We'll be champions. So 
looking forward to that. But until that episode drops, I want to say a massive thank you as well for your patience. Of course, I can't wait for FIFA 20 to come out. It's coming out within a week now, as I say, on the EA Access. So, yep, yeah, uh, it's going to be big when that game comes out. I'm going to try and go hard with content for you guys. Um, but until then, have a great evening, have a great day, and I'll see you all again with the next episode. Hopefully tomorrow, if not, definitely on Saturday, as we look to, to pretty much bring the series to a close. Until then, adios.